I don't know if it is something that is deep rooted in my culture. I don't know if it is something that was taught to me when I had a clean mind. But I was always told by my father that Guru Anj, no matter what happens, no matter what happens, you need to respect the faith of others. You need to respect the belief of others. You need to put humanity over everything else. People have created a lot of divides in the society, but those divides are within our mind. Actually, we all belong to the same race, that is of humanity. I remember an incident when I went to Golden Temple and I asked my father that why there are four doors in the Amritsar complex, in the Golden Temple complex. He said that in the, in the place of God, people from every part of the world are welcomed. It does not matter what caste, creed, color, religion they belong to. They are welcomed from everywhere around the world. And similarly, you also need to welcome every belief in your life. But things started to change when I entered school. To be very honest, I was bullied. I was disrespected about the belief I had, about the faith I had. And not just by the friends, sorry, so-called friends, but also by the authority. And this is something that truly hits hard. So I sooner realized that this is an incomplete teaching. You need to keep humanity over everything else. You need to respect other person's faith. But it, when, when it comes down to your faith, then it is your responsibility to protect it with both of your hands, no matter you have to put your life on the line. I completed this teaching, what my father taught. After 12th class, I used, I discovered an artist, an American artist, who did not belong to the same race, who did not belong to the same timeline, who did not belong to the same era. And yet our stories matched and yet our feelings matched. And that legendary artist whom I consider as my role model Tupac. is this guy. Anybody who knows? Tupac. Tupac Shakur. Right. I consider him as my role model. I consider him as the person whom I intend to become. The fearless Tupac Shakur. The person who united the entire black community together. He was 19 years old, the same age as I am right now, when he released his first album, to Lips Now. And in one of his songs, Word of Wisdom, this is what he said to the American government. And for me, in my head, I used to replace America and I used to add India instead and I used to remove black community and any minority of India I used to add it. And the, the music, the entire music made complete sense to me, even today. I have learned from this person that it's better to stand dying than living on your knees. Thank you so much. That was all.